Okay, so, oh gosh, I did a video yesterday about this particular subject on my iPhone and I cannot get it to upload. I don't know what's gone wrong. Anyway, um, I'm going to try it on my camera and see what happens. Um, it was quite a long video last time, but uh, I'll try and make it shorter. Right, okay, so I'm, I'm um, videoing from my balcony out in Earlsdon Park Village, um, the dream home. <laughs> that uh, I mean, it is, it is, I do love my apartment, <coughs> but oh dear, extra care, <coughs> excuse me, has a lot to answer to, answer for, I should say. Now, when I came here, um, I was told that this car park, for whatever reason, um, it wasn't in the the original lot of land that Extra Care purchased to build this complex. And somebody popped along and decided that uh, this bit of land was for the taking. So it was. Um, understood that he, she, they were going to buy this bit of land and most probably build high-rise, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Student accommodation. Sorry, my brain's not working today. Um, well, of course, student accommodation and uh, a retirement village, not exactly good bedfellows do you think so in fairness to extra care you know they thought exactly the same and jumped straight in and purchased the land at quite a considerable cost apparently more than probably it was worth but they wanted to get it <coughs> so that student accommodation or whatever else really <coughs> wouldn't be within yards of the building so that's what happened so the residency i mean i didn't move in until february of last year um the the building opened the year before in july but prior to that um the residents or the prospective buyers uh, came to numerous meetings with the extra care and uh, they were sold, as one resident puts it, they were sold a dream. And um, if you spoke to that resident, and many, 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 many more today, they, they say, and I understand their position perfectly, uh, they now have a nightmare. Um, they really, extra care really of, uh, well, I can't believe how and called for all this was it's just um, oh sorry i'm i'm ranting <laughs> I'm, and i'm wondering okay so when i came here all this here um was wasteland and rubbish and equipment from when they built uh, this building okay the residents, by the way, were at the, all these meetings were promised um, landscaped area, front and rear. Rear, there's no landscape, <coughs> no area to landscape. Excuse me again. <coughs> um, front, nothing, absolutely nothing. And the car park was uh, obviously used as a car park. There's not enough car parking spaces even now. But anyway, um, uh, Extra Care decided, yes, they bought this bit of land, but they now, now needed to recoup that money. They needed to get it back into their coffers. Now, the residents... Um, could see what they were getting at, but when they were told by Extra Care that they were going to build a six-storey 
residence building there. No facilities, just the apartments. They were not very happy, as you can imagine. Uh, I mean, I, I can't imagine this barely room in, in um, the bistro in the restaurant now. <coughs> we used to have all our entertainment in the bistro. <coughs> I've had to take it out of there and put it in the village hall now because there's just no room. So when we get 120 odd extra people, I just don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, sorry, I'm ranting again, raving and roaming. Um, so where was I? Yeah, we've got to we've got to build this building because we need to get the money back again. Well, the residents were up in arms. They said if you need to go and get that money back, do it in a new building village that you've built or you're building elsewhere but no extra care said they're gonna do it and then to heck with it but what they said was building would start in 2019 and in the meantime to keep us happy <laughs> to make us happy they would landscape if that's what you call it a de grass pathway a seat and that area there, they would make that, they would landscape it for us and the residents would be allowed to uh, plant and this is what they did. Now all you can see at the moment um, are holes where all the plants were. It's, it's a disaster now, it's such a, such a shame. Um, as I say, the, the, the residents planted, it, it became a little sanctuary down there, fed the birds, um, we just used to sit on the benches there, and it was just gorgeous. But Extra Care got fed up of us moaning about this building, I think, and decided that they would um, start the building in 2018. So the first thing they had to do was to stop the birds nesting in those trees because you can't build while birds are nesting. Um, so they got that cherry picker that's there, that blue thing, drove us all mad with the beep, 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 beep constantly for days on end. Gosh, if that's just indicative of what the noise will be when we get the actual building going ahead. I mean, it was not noisy, it was just so bloody annoying. Beep, 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 beep. And I, I think there must have been a fault on it or something because it was beeping when it was on the ground, beeping when it was up in the air, beeping on the way down, beeping on the way up. Sorry, ranting again. Okay, so they chopped the tops off the trees, which took them, well, I don't know how much money it must have cost them because they had that, and that cherry pick has been there for a while. Unless they bought it, of course. Um, chopped all the top of the trees off and netted the trees. What happened? The lovely little birds, well, the birds, big and small, tried desperately to nest in those trees. So they got trapped, didn't they, in the netting? What a disaster. Thankfully, residents were able to release the netting and let out. But that's now made extra care say, oh, we're going to pull them, pull the trees down, get them done and dusted. So that's what's going to happen next week. I mean, the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm fuming that why spend all that money doing all this just for a season barely you know we got a, a we got a winter out of it no we didn't we got barely got a winter and we got a spring out of it we're not going to get a summer out of it we're not going to get an autumn or a winter it's just an absolute waste of time and energy all the work those residents put into to um the word plant that area and that area up 
There was even a lady who, um, whose husband unfortunately passed away, and she had a, a bird. Um, oh gosh, what's the matter with me today? You know the water feeders, um, quite large with the um, open hands. Um, and that was in that um, graveled area there, you can see. That's had to be taken away because it'll just get damaged. If it's put further up, which is what Extra Care suggested, it'll get stolen. So it's had to go up onto her apartment, onto her balcony. All these, um, the actual over there, um, the... Uh, all the plants, etc., were done by one resident in particular. I mean, there's quite a few others, but one in particular. And, you know, he, he worked so hard, poor man put himself into hospital, um, which is another story, bless him. But the, 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 we have what we call a green club, club um, it's to look after the plants and the whatever landscaped area we've got to raise funds etc and they worked really hard raising funds for plants etc people donated plants I donated a magnolia tree um, because mum had one in her back garden and uh, I'd love to have seen it um, here you know which is my home but no, it's not going to be. And I just think extra care, have no care. They don't care about the wildlife. They don't care about the residents. I mean, can you imagine? It's, I'm, I'm, you know, I've got it easy, really. Let me back down a bit. Um, I'm going to look on the top of the building. Um, it's going to be a winter garden or something on the top, so I believe. Um, and it won't really bother me because I'm up on the eighth floor, so I'm looking down on it. But these people, sorry, I can't show you much from this angle. Um, from from the first to the fifth floor, say, are going to be within yards of building, of noise, of dust, of chaos for, what, 15, 18 months? And then they have got this building that is going to um, be there forever and a day, cutting out their light. It's just the way that Extra Care have done this. You know, they're just so... I don't believe they're a charity. I, d I really don't. I feel that uh, a lot of so-called charities register themselves as, as such to get some sort of tax relief. They're not a charity as us older people um, reckon. You know, we pay a fortune to be here. We pay a lot of money for our rent. We pay a lot of money, uh, oh gosh, hundreds of thousands to buy the apartments. Um, we have a community charge, we have a service charge. It's a, a, a fortune to live here. The facilities are amazing. They've got everything you could think of. But barely, barely nothing is organised. The craft room, well, I could go on forever. It's wonderful. But nothing gets organised there. It's just, to me, when I came here in, in, in last year, there was hundreds, well, it felt like hundreds of staff everywhere. Then what they do, extra care, is recruit volunteers, which is good. Volunteers, to, you know, part of the community. But they run the place. <laughs> you know, they get them to do all sorts. And, and this was the case with the craft room. It's all down to the residents to, to organise their own. There's nothing. There's just nothing. Oh, that's, that's another story. And I will do uh, some more videos to say just what's, uh, what's going on. 
and why people are so desperately unhappy here. And they are. Um, so anyway, going back, sorry, I do ramble, don't I? Getting back to um, the trees being pulled down. <laughs> RSPB were contacted by several of the residents and they were told if there's any sign of birds, activity, nesting, etc., the, the residents would need to ring 101, which is police, and it's against the law, so they would be stopped from removing the trees. But of course, extra care. I've got their top salaried solicitors on this sort of thing, and they've got an ecologist, ecologist, whatever you call it, coming along, and I suppose he will say, and he's right, there are no birds nesting now because they couldn't get in to nest. When they did try, you know, they went through untold stress, trying to get out again. Oh, it was, it was just awful. It was a horrible, horrible time. Um, so yes, he'll say yes, no bird activity, put them down, and then that will be the start of the nightmare number two. <laughs> oh dear, dear me. Um, so I think it's the 24th, they're sort of getting rid of half the parking so that they can bring in all their equipment and the bricks and mortar and whatever else they use. And then um, building will start. Disgraceful, absolute disgraceful. Extra care, Elsdon Park. Village management should be ashamed of themselves, absolutely ashamed of themselves. I hope the Coventry Evening Telegraph pick this up, the local press and the media. Please come and talk to the residents. They'll let you know how they feel. It's just awful, it really is. Anyway, I'm off. Sorry, it's been a bit of a boring video to look at and I have gone off um, course a lot. I do apologise and I'll see you all soon. This will be um, the start of many um, updates I'm sure. So take care everyone. See you soon. Bye bye.